Number six, meeting new people makes me incredibly happy. Like I go to these places and people say, did you go to this museum? Did you see this, uh, these structures from like ancient Rome and all that stuff's nice, but what makes a difference to me? Uh, are meeting people and learning about them and making connections and making friends. That warms my heart, that puts a smile on my face. And uh, when I come back home, I don't say, well, I saw the Eiffel Tower, it was, it was tall. Uh, no, I talk about the people I met. I love meeting people. And you know what? I wanna meet you. Number seven, I love art. Not, a, not all art speaks to me. But when it does, it just touches your heart, right? It just makes you smile at the wonder of someone thought of this and someone created this picture, this painting, in such a way that whatever they were feeling when they were painting it is transmitting through the ages, sometimes hundreds of years, and you get to feel it right here. Art makes me happy. Art makes me ecstatic. Go figure out what makes you ecstatic and go to an art gallery, hug a painting, Lick a painting, whatever you have to do to be happier. Number eight, unexpected movies. Like a, a million years ago, I was with my friends, we were in New York City, and just having a fun time, we were teenagers and being idiots. But it was a super hot day, it was like, we need to get out of the heat, man. So we decided to go to the movies, and they had this dumb movie called Indiana Jones. We had no idea what it was, and it was like one of the best movies ever, right? An unexpected movie uh, makes me smile. How about you? Why don't you drop me an email and say, this is my favorite movie. I'd love to hear about it and uh, maybe make it one of my favorites too. Number nine, I like people that are incredibly creative and talented and fast on their feet. So I'd gone to this improv show in Baltimore, uh, B.I.G., Baltimore Improv Group, and the name of the show was Law & Order, Dun Dun. And this is how it started. Uh, there's the audience is sitting there and this guy comes out and says hi you know we're the improv group and we're awesome and we thought well maybe you are and then the guy says okay uh, to do this show law and order we need a location where the murder happened and somebody puts up their hand and goes at the Baltimore Aquarium he says, okay now we need a victim who wants to be a victim and I go pick me pick me and so they pick me and I go on stage on the chair and I sit down as the dead body and I go yeah. and then they have two improv actors walking in the aquarium as workers and they notice a dead body in one of the tanks. And then they have the cops come and they start investigating. And through improv, they figure out who I am, uh, what I was doing, who killed me, why they killed me. They present the, uh, the information to the prosecutors. They take it to trial, there's a judge and everything. And in an hour, just like a real TV show, uh, they figure out the murder and figure out who did it and convict them but they did this through improv. No script, just made it up as they went. You can run with that, right? Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. The number 10 thing that makes me happy is going to the beach. Before it was like, I don't wanna go to the beach, you know, uh, it's boring, but then I finally figured it out. You get to go to the beach, you get to relax, you get to read. Uh, did I mention that first thing I mentioned on the happy list, looking at pretty women? And you get to look at pretty women, it's amazing. Uh, and everyone's demeanor changes at the beach, right? Everyone's just, more grounded, happier, more joyous. Going to the beach is a very happy thing.